Welcome to Top of the Drops. I'm Taco, your host, as always. I'm feeling good today. We have Music Midtown this weekend in Atlanta. I'm excited to see the team. I'm excited to see some community out there. I'm excited to show off my new custom Gala Music uh, baseball jersey that I ordered. It's got Taco on the back of it. The team needs to step up their merch game because I'm not messing around over here. I'm ordering this stuff on my own. I've got outside channels for this stuff speaking of merch we normally do like a track countdown to open up the show but we had a bunch of things sell out from all access last week and so i wanted to count down the four sold out all access experiences slash merch number four the sand sound headphones were a huge hit they are hyper reality headphones i don't know what makes hyper reality better than regular reality but I'm excited for that. Number two, Bucks sold out all of her Bucks figurines. There's 50 of them. You guys loved it. You got all into a big community tizzy over the potential goodness that could come from this. And Bucks seemed like she was egging you on pretty well, which makes me worry about the future of these things and what it could entail. But everybody wants to be in a club, right? Number two, Valerie Ann sold out all of her custom ukuleles. That's great. Ukuleles needed to win, I felt like. And you guys delivered. And congrats to Valerie Ann. Maybe the nicest person in the universe next to Satoshi Siren. They got in a niceness fight. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Be hard to bet on that one. Number one, obviously my Waffle House experience sold out. Irrelevant. Spent some time in the Discord wondering out loud why anybody would be interested in that. All I can say is all of the experiences I've put up into the All Access have sold out. He hasn't even put anything in there. So I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good about it. It's easy to FUD when you don't have any skin in the game. I think Irrelevant should put something in there and let's see what happens. All right, moving on. Fun music week this week. Two returning artists have been on top of the draft before and they enjoy it far too much for what this show is, but they begged me to come back on this week because they dropped the tracks today. And so I have a recorded segment from Derek Claxton and Emily Fay. Take a look at this. Hello, Gala Music. So tomorrow I drop a song called Desert Rose and I just wanted to have a little chat about it. Um, it's a song with lots of meaning and it's generally about my partner who is an absolute rock and um, that metaphor of being in the desert and finding that oasis and you know quenching your thirst and basically being my rock and that's what the song's about. Um, it's a great song, I really love it and it's just got a bit of a swag to it. So what do I do when I'm not writing music and playing? I have many hobbies. One of them is bonsai. Okay, so there's some of my bonsais. Let me flip the camera. So, here's one of my favorites. Oh, the Chinese sweet plum, this one. Um, this one's getting on, it's probably 25 years old now. But, um, it's a beautiful, beautiful little tree. Um, here's another beautiful little one as well. A Chinese elm is this one here. Which is quite quirky. Um, the branch broke off this one in a storm, so it's um, it's mended itself. Uh, nature is pretty amazing. But what I love about these is, you know, I could miniaturize myself. Like, honey, I shrunk the kids, and uh, and crawl on this like grass here. That'd be really cool. So they were the bonsais. Um, what else do I like? Right, I tell you what else. I started an eBay shop um, probably about March, April time because um. Uh, a year and a half ago, I left my job as a music teacher to concentrate on music. Obviously, I saw Gala, which has been insane. Great. But obviously, you know, in the music business, um, that regular income can be quite difficult. So I just do something that I love, and that's buy and sell, like vintage and curious items. Um, I go to thrift stores, charity shops, um, car boot sales, garage sales, yard sales, all kinds of places. Um, and just source like really cool cool objects and um, put them into auction and 
flipping for a profit. Unfortunately, I don't sell a lot of stuff because I absolutely love to keep them. So I'll show you a few bits that I picked up this week. So this is our lovely uh, Victorian fireplace. Yes, our house is very old. Now this vintage suitcase, absolutely beautiful. Um, I bought that to sell, but I can't face something. It looks really nice there. This very quirky um, arts and craft, I guess. Um, this is Charlie, not Charlie. Uh, arts and craft sort of studio pottery. Very nice, signed. Very, very nice. <clears throat> this is Charlie, by the way. He is not an antique, and he's a little doggy. He gets, and he makes lots of mess. Look. What else have we got? We have some nice Dickens books here. So uh, my partner, she has a books, books, um, books own business. She just started, so she likes all this kind of thing. Very, very old. God, where's the wind? Look at that one. Incredible. I think one of my favourite things I picked up this year um, is this Egyptian camel stool. And I say it's a camel saddle. You put it on the back of the camel and you sit on there. This one is very ornate, so it was probably for someone quite special. Let's have a look. Here it is. It's absolutely stunning. Now this is camel leather. And it's been sort of weaved. Can you see that? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let me look at the marquetry on this. Um, they're bone as well. There and then... Obviously, that's the frame under there, which is rosewood. And you'd sit this on the camel. There you go. Beautiful. Will I sell it? Probably not. It's beautiful. This is Charlie. Um, he's my 18-month-old Staffy. And he's a little monkey, and he likes to rip everything up. This is his toy box, which is quite trashed. Um, <laughs> But he's my beautiful little mate, and he spends all day with me, and he's gorgeous. So Desert Rose, which drops tomorrow. What is it about? Well, I told you, it's about my partner, who's my rock, and, you know, in the desert, she's my oasis, you know, she's my Desert Rose. Um, and it's it's on the third fret, capoed, and I'm playing an open E major, which actually makes it a G, because we're on the third fret. E, F, F sharp, G. <coughs> Where the sun beats down I've been wondering with no one else around There's no one else around She is my oasis, my desert rose She is my guiding light and everybody knows Thanks for watching this quirky video. Thank you for your support. I look forward to all of you grabbing a copy of Desert Rose tomorrow. Hi everyone. So I'm currently in the south of France at a chateau. You can see it behind me. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, and I'm here to tell you about the song that's dropping this evening. I think I just heard the goats. Oh look, here's Maya, the dog. Oh, she's so gorgeous. She's very shy. She's running away from me. Um, so. The song that I'm dropping this evening is called Me First. It was a five minute song Friday, the same as PlayStation. And it's all about knowing so many different types of love and how they feel. For example, loving others, loving your parents, loving your siblings. Um, but actually realizing that the hardest type of love sometimes is the relationship with yourself, the compassion and the love for yourself. So this whole song is literally about learning self-love, learning to love myself, and um, encouraging others to do so unconditionally as well. So I really hope you're gonna like it. Please go and buy it. It's all kicking off here. Woo! Look at this chateau, guys. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? We've got goats over here. Um, there's also wild rabbits. Um, yeah, it's all, go it's all go, go, go. And um, yeah, I really hope you're gonna love the song. Thanks. Thank you, Darren and Emily. Pleasure, as always, to have you make an appearance on Top of the Drops. Earlier in the show, I discussed some of the all-access sellouts. People need to stay on top of this stuff. Since my Waffle House sellout, I had countless people DMing me saying, Hey, Taco, I didn't know about it. I would have spent the beams. I would have flown to Atlanta to be a part of that amazing experience. It's up to you to go to the website check out all access there's a ton of stuff in there still great stuff lots of artist things take a look also like and subscribe while i'm asking you to do stuff 
All right, let's do some uh, life advice. Bring it on 007 says, have you ever seen the cryptid known as the Gala app? And if so, when will it be released into the wild? Guys, I am not going to steal Irrelevance Thunder. It's his app. I know he's excited to share it. I could leak all the details. That wouldn't be right. Nacho510 says, who would win in a fight a grilled cheese sandwich or a taco? Soft shell taco, a grilled cheese, hard shell taco, the hard shell taco. Taco asks, do you think people understand needing advice is different from just asking a random question? I don't think they understand it. And so I'm changing the name of the Discord channel to be random questions for taco. And I'll feel better out about it because you'll be getting it right. And then it'll be random questions. You can still ask for advice in there if you want. I don't know, let's have some fun. I think that's it for today. Kind of a weird gap week in between a whole bunch of exciting things. But expect more content from Music Midtown this weekend. The app is coming sometime. There's a lot. There's a lot going on. Let's wrap up with a QR code for a giveaway of an Ed Balloon track. We love Ed Balloon. Thanks, everybody. See you in Discord. Oh. Oh.